it's British Legion and um, welcome to a video. The results are in and the results were, if you look to my last video, I said you could tell me what you wanted to see next. Either Dwarves, World War II, World War II, World Weird, World Weird, World War II and uh, Vikings or Vikings. And the results are in. It's pretty tight. Three votes for Dwarves, so they came third. Second place came the Vikings with four votes. So Weird World War wins uh, with five votes. So I noticed a couple of you didn't vote, so you had a weighted vote there. Could have been a tie with Vikings, but uh, I would have held the uh, ruling vote, so I would, probably would have gone World War, World War, I can't say it quick. World, Weird World War. <laughs> anyway, which is Conflict 47, which I want to get into. So um, another system. Anyway, yeah, um, you'll see a picture now of what I want to paint today. Uh, these are the um, Shrek, what are they called? Shrek Warfen, which I think means in German scary wolf or scary wolves. Um, scary wolves. I think it's scary. Scary wolves. Uh, which is pretty cool because um, I did it ages ago with uh, West Wind, but uh, I, I, I've got these um, sculpts. I, what you saw earlier, anyway, and I'll. I'll paint them up and we see how we get on, but they are really nice. The detail on these are pretty cool. Check them out from Asylum Wall Gaming. Uh, we've, they've got these in stock at the moment, so get them while they're hot. Right, cheers. Um, I'll run some pictures up of if I manage to get them done today, if I don't get stung by chaos. That's another thing. Look at the end of the video if you make it that far, and I shall tell you what happened to me yesterday. Really spooky. <sighs> right, see you later. Right, this is a bit of extra at the end. Um, some weird stuff happened to me yesterday. Um, I'm not a religious person by any means, but um, I do believe certain things control or persuade us. I don't know. Um, but anyway, in the realms of chaos, it was quite a chaotic afternoon yesterday. Um, it started off um, fairly okay. Um, I got a phone call from Alex's school saying it wasn't feeling well, he's drained of all energy and can he come home? So that was the first thing, Alex come home. And he's had a 100% attendance record up till then. And the 100% attendance record from last year as well. Um, and then Claire came down to uh, drop the car off for me. So she had to go and get some dinner for the kids. And I had to load some of the stuff up in the car. Went out to the car um, and something caught my eye on the wheel and it was a screw, real fat screw going into the tire and the head had been ground off. So that had been in there for a while. So I thought, oh no, I hate things like that. So I thought, well that's one thing, that's, that's another thing. So I got in the car, shut the shop, shut the shop, got in the car. I drove off and there was some guys getting out of the car and I thought, well I can't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit them if I, if, I, if I don't stop. So I stopped and I was patient. But they looked at me like I was like, like, I think they would have hit me if I'd got funny with them. But anyway, that was another thing that was a bit funny. So I, only, I passed that bit, passed the test, got past that. Had a quite a hard time removing the car at the bottom of the road, which is unusual, and more unusually difficult. Come back, and there was an Audi R3 parked on the curb. And as I got up to him, all of a sudden he just pulled off, pulled away without indicating. So I could have gone right into the back of him, but luckily I didn't. So I thought, hang on, what's going on? You know, this is getting worse. So I went round the corner, went uh, to the place where I picked Claire up. And as I went round the corner, I saw this little girl running behind the, the parked car. And I thought, in a minute, she's gonna come out the other side and go right in front of me. So I stopped. The mother went absolutely ballistic and screamed at the child. She stops, luckily, but I already stopped, so it wasn't a problem. But I thought, that's another thing. Is there anything else gonna go wrong? So anyway, I managed to get the tire fixed 
and it wasn't a, a puncher, it was a complete replacement tyre because um, it had two screws in it, not just one, but two, which is weird. So I, I got home, I said to Claire, I don't fancy going out tonight because I think things are going to go, things have been going wrong since um, I got in the car. So she went in here, perhaps you better stay in because I was going to play badminton that night. So anyway, I thought, no, I'm going to go, I'll be fine. So I went, she said, can you go and put some petrol in the car? But be, be careful. So I went down to put some petrol in the car, put the petrol in the car, went in, and there's these three people waiting, and they're, they're, I was on pump number six. And um, they turned around to me and said, is you on pump number six? I said, yeah, I'm pump number six. And the guy on the till had already cashed me in as paying cash. So he says to me, I haven't got no cash on me, you'll have to pay me cash. I said, I haven't got any cash, I've got a debit card. He said, I need cash. I, and I said, well, I'm sorry, I, I haven't got cash. He said, well, there's a hole in the wall outside. Can you go and get cash? I went, oh, right, okay. It's one of them days. So I went out and got cash. Um, yeah, it was just crazy. Nothing was normal. So I think that's a lot to chaos in some respects. But hopefully today, fingers crossed, it'll be okay. Anyway, as the badger said to the fox,